And welcome to Football Syrups, where we continue my series on the best academies in the world. Because after having talked about the, the methodology, the methodology of Red Bull Salzburg's academy, we are now heading to Croatia, a country with only four million inhabitants that continues to to produce excellent football players, generation after generation. Though, because even if Croatians are so talented with the ball that they have been nicknamed the, the Brazilians of, of Europe. The country is above all lucky to have one of the best academies in the world, the, the one of Dinamo Zagreb. This historical club of the, of the capital is indeed a real player's factory for the national team. I mean, just look at their current midf midfield. Brozovic, Kovacic and Modric. These three big names uh, surely rank at the top of Dinamo's former academy players list. A list you can find in the, des in the description, by the way since I compiled two articles about it. So how does this academy work? First, first of all, ha you have to know that the first trials that take place very early, um, the, U, the U7 be, being the first cat category of the, of the club. Tournaments are, are indeed organized beforehand in, in the metropolitan region of, of Zagreb, a very advantageous uh, geo geographical uh, area as a, as a quarter of the national population lives there. However, the success of the academy lies in its methodology, as the club pays attention to the smallest details, starting with these trials, uh, where the scouts are, are careful not to recruit only players born, uh, that were born uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, a problem that unfortunately is, is recurrent in, in youth football. But what continues to amaze me is that Dinamo Zagreb's training program uh, development program is a real organization of the different skills taught, uh, starting from the youngest categories. Around 105 different technical elements are indeed worked on from the U8 to uh, U11, and in a progressive way, since 20 uh, to 20, 30 elements are added each season by the coaches in question. Before talking more in detail about these technical elements and the training session that, that can be found in each different age category, it's important to know that this planning is based on scientific studies, as explained seriously by former director of the academy, uh, Romeo Yotzak, in several YouTube videos that you can find in, in my source, sources linked in, in the description. In order to understand the, the Dynamo training program, I first need to summarize the, the different re reasons for of its organization. Romeo Yodzak insisting above all on, on a precise point. One must not overtrain decision making too early, especially before the age of 11, because before that age, peripheral, uh, peripheral vision is not yet fully developed. Uh, children have what is called tunnel uh, vision. It's therefore difficult to make the right de decision on, on the pitch when, when you, you can only see the opponents and teammates in front of you. But, that, but that's not all, because at that age, technique is generally still to be developed and, and playing is actually not the fastest way to, to improve it. Why not? Because in order to memorize a certain skill at best, in this case touching the ball in a certain way, Science has shown that it is better to not to be disturbed or, or put uh, under pressure, uh, which is constantly the, uh, constantly the case when facing opponents or, or a time limit. The more unstable the, the environment, the more unstable the skill memorization. Therefore, it is ideally better to work on the, on the technique in, in isolation for as long as necessary before playing matches in in which you actually uh, only subconsciously adapt the memorized movement to movements to the different game situations. In this respect, uh, Romeo Yodzak states that many football institutions are, are still far behind those of other sports such as tennis, basketball or ice hockey, a sport in which, for example, Canada excels and recommends creating a um, an ideal uh, environment for young players to, le to, lear to learn technique uh, pre precisely, in particular by, by trying to, to stabilize them so, so that they can concentrate uh, solely, they can focus solely on the skill. 
But do Dynamo Grab's two stranding sessions uh, only consist of drills at first? Absolutely not. Here is what uh, a U9 session looks like, for example. First there are games with or without the ball to warm up a bit. Then five, uh, six dribbles or, or fins are, are walked on. Followed by various drills to, to train passing, receiving, shooting and one-on-one -on -one situations before ending with a match where one successful dribble counts as one goal scored. So why aren't there only drills to improve your, your technique in this case? As mentioned at the beginning of the, um, of the video, Croatian youngsters are very comfortable on the ball and even, even more those who are selected by, by Dynamo and then play a lot of football either in league, either in league matches, um, at the many national and international tournaments the club uh, takes part in or even in training where the U9s uh, spend four times one and a half hour uh, uh, every week. Yeah. That's quite a lot. But we mustn't forget that Playing is fundamental for, for the children, for kids. Without playing, many would surely stop coming, without forgetting that the coaches also need to have fun. Moreover, the club is, is careful to recruit uh, coaches for, for whom walking at, the walking at the academy doesn't mean a step back in their career. Everyone has to be able to give 100% per, 100 uh, to give it all in the, acti in the activity they are doing. Hence, the presence of playing and variety uh, in training. Speaking of training, uh, something must surely have struck you in the example session I, I gave earlier. The importance of, of dribbling, walked on with a, part with a partic particular focus in, in, in two of the four parts mentioned. Because if Croatians are, are known to be technical uh, players, it is surely also because Dynamo understood the importance of, of dribbling in football. Everything becomes easier when you can dribble past an, an opponent. So this is a relatively separate aspect of the club's training program, as one-on-one -on -one situations are regularly worked on in, in each category of the academy from, U, uh, from the U7 to the, to the reserve team. So that, that's a wrap for today. Don't hesitate, don't hesitate to subscribe to, to my channel to make sure you don't miss the second episode of this mini-series on the methodology of Dynamo the Grabs Academy and any other similar content. And if you liked the video, don't forget to drop me a like, tell me in the comments and share the video with another football nerd. It really helped me a lot more than you think. Bye-bye.